market. It is the world's leading car manufacturing hub and the biggest car market as well. But of late, all does not seem to be well in the Chinese car market. The trade war with the United States appears to be taking a toll on the automobile industry. Sales have plummeted and the slide continues despite measures by the Chinese government. The growth in sales reversed for the first time since 1990. And analysts largely attribute the dent in consumer sentiment to the growing friction between Beijing and Washington. The major brands that invested heavily in China are reconsidering their production scale. Sample this. The Sherry Jaguar Land Rover factory in eastern China has the capacity to produce 10,000 vehicles a month. But of late, the plant has uh, been running at half its capacity. The U.S. car manufacturer Ford has been the worst performer with sales down 37% last year. The automobile giant is under immense pressure to scale down its operations. Japan Suzuki has pulled out of the market altogether. But will the downturn in Chinese economy derail its car market? Is there a threat to China's formidable standing in the global automobile market? There are no easy responses to these two questions. The Chinese government has initiated several steps which executives believe will help revive sales. VAT for the manufacturing sector, for example, has been slashed from 16 to 13 percent. That's the value-added tax which has now prompted some car makers such as BMW and Mercedes-Benz to lower prices. As a result, the March auto sales decline was uh, actually the lowest in seven months. All eyes are on the 2019 Shanghai Auto Show, which is now underway. The auto show will be a strong indicator of how investors view China's future as a car manufacturing hub and market leader. The opening day of the auto show was marked by a clear thrust on electric vehicles and new sports utility vehicles from car makers such as General Motors and Daimler. Some firms express optimism about the road ahead, with luxury car maker Rolls-Royce Motor Cars saying that it would likely achieve double-digit sales growth in China again this year. There is optimism among other automobile executives as well. Some believe that China's car market will return to growth in the second half of this year owing to government support. There are also hopes of trade negotiations between China and the U.S. finally finding some headway. I'm confident that we will see a better second half of the year. We, yes, we had uh, two consecutive quarters of decline of the market, mostly driven by the trade negotiations between the U.S. and China because the economic uh, surrounding of the market is in good shape, is healthy. Uh, we are optimistic because uh, we could, uh, within that period, uh, we have been losing a little bit of volume, but we could gain market share. That means we are very competitive in this market. We could deliver 10% growth in the first quarter in 2019 in China, and it's also driven by uh, our successful new range of products. For example, the new BMW X3 is uh, finding great resonance uh, with uh, customers in China, uh, and I'm quite confident about the premium segment in the automotive uh, uh, sector uh, because of the growing middle class uh, in China. While the general mood of the automobile executive seems largely positive, the roadblocks in China's uh, path to recovery are plenty and there are certainly many what-ifs, the answers to which may only be known in the months ahead. Right now, there is a question mark over where it may be headed.